Hi everyone, it's PhD Simmer here and welcome to another tutorial video for The Sims 4. Today I'm going to show you how to use the MC Commander mod to tray import is what it's called. This is where the game, instead of generating its own sims, it will pull sims in from the gallery, those sims that you have saved on your own gallery. So you can make sure that any new generated sims in your game are not crazily dressed, strange names, strange combination of outfits, eyeball rings all over the place. You can kind of avoid that. It's not 100% fixed, but it's really good. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is install the MC Commander mod, and I will show you if you're not sure how to install the mod. So you can get the mod if you don't already have it. I also leave, leave a link in the description down below. Essentially, this is the website. So if I just go back to the homepage, this is the homepage. You click MCCC downloads and it will have the previous versions, but make sure you grab the most recent release. Uh, usually it tells you uh, which patch it's suitable for, but generally it's the top one on the list. So you would click MC command center. You can add this woohoo section on. I'll talk about that in another video. That's an optional add on. But the main thing you need is this MC command center 7.5.3 at the time of this video. So that will download um, and you can install that in your game as you would any other mod. This is your uh, documents electronic art sims 4 folder. You will have a folder called mods and it, if you never installed mods before it will be empty apart from one file which says resource.cfg don't delete that leave that in your in your game uh, and then all you got to do is unzip that file make sure you do unzip it and it will have everything you need inside so that's all you got to do download put it in your mods folder unzip it that's all you got to do once this is in your game it will give you a custom menu there's like different locations for the menu so you will have a menu on your sim and it will say mc command center it's really easy to find because it has this like little Deadpool. <laughs> I was going to say Spider-Man, but that would have been wrong. So your sim has a menu which has lots of options. You also have a menu on your post box or mailbox, um, if you want to call it that. And then you also have an option on your computer. And yeah, there's t this mod has got so much stuff in it. I cannot cover it in one video. I'm going to do a series of videos, but let's talk about tray importing today. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to click on the computer, go to MC Command Center, then go to MC Population, then go to Population Settings, yeah, and then go to Import Tray Settings, which is the final option at the bottom. Click that. Now, there's a range of options here. This first one, Import Tray Sim Percent, this is asking you what percentage of sims that are generated by the game do you want to come from your tray, your gallery? I have it set on 100% because I don't want any of EA Maxis's auto-generated sims. They're awful. I don't want any of them. So I have it set on 100%, but you don't have to. By default, it's on zero. So for this to work, you will need to change it from zero to whatever percentage you want. I just have it on 100. Press OK. Now we have import tray sim type. Click this. Now you have several options here. You can say any saved sims. So this will be any sim that you have saved to your gallery. Uh, you can say only my sims, so it will only put sims that you have created, and it can be only other sims. I choose only other sims because I used to have it set on the first option, but I found that it was pulling in sims from my other Let's Plays, so when I was doing my Discover University Let's Play, it would pull in sims from my Get Famous Let's Play, which I don't really want. You might want that. It's up to you. I have it only other people's sims. Okay, so the next couple of options I leave on default, I've never touched them, which is limit import by tags, include gender options. I've never touched whatever default is. Include clothing, I leave that on enabled. Import sim name. So you can say never use the name. You can say never use the name if it's a duplicate. Always use the name or skip it if the name exists in your game. I leave it on never use import name. So the final thing you need to do in order for this to work is you need to go on to your gallery. And this is pulling sims in from your library, not the gallery. So make sure that you save loads of sims. You can see I've got so many sims saved. I would caution you against pulling in anyone with custom content. So if you want to search like hashtag CC free or hashtag no CC, um, that would be best because obviously if you don't have the CC installed on your computer, it's not going to work. You're going to have bald sims, naked sims, glitchy sims just running around. So make sure you go for non-custom content sims, unless you're 100% sure you have the custom content. 
Hello, it's me from the future. I just wanted to pop in quickly and say if there are any sims that come into your game with custom content or you don't like the sim and you don't want them to come into your game, again, just delete them from your tray. That's the easiest way to get rid of them. So if you make a mistake and accidentally sims are coming in with, without custom content or you don't like a certain sim or yeah, you just don't want them anymore, just delete them from your tray. That's all you gotta do. So what I've done here is I have saved loads of sims um, and I try to go for a mix. I try to save lots of different ethnicities, ages, big family, small family, single sims. Um, if I'm just playing eco lifestyle, I'll search through like looking for people who fit that world. If I'm playing um, university, I've saved tons of like students. I started doing this around the time of my university Let's Play. But yeah, definitely be careful about custom content. But look, you can see how many sims I've saved in the gallery. So instead of generating a weird sim with weird clothing, weird hair, weird name, weird eyeball rings and stuff, it will pull in, for example, this person who is gorgeous. Or maybe it will pull in this family who are lovely. Or maybe it will pull in these lo this lovely cute little family. So I will periodically just scroll through the gallery looking at certain hashtags and I will... Uh, yeah, save those. But what you might want to do is you might want to go to hashtag and you might want to search households, um, change it to hashtag, and then you might want to put um, no CC. And then you can just scroll. You can generally get an idea if they've got custom content from the picture, but I um, might want to save her, for example. And what you've got to do is you need to make sure you save household to my library. So if you see a sim you like, make sure you save it to your library. Just editing me popping in again to say I would save a lot of sims so that you get a lot of variety otherwise if you only save five or six sims you're going to get them popping up all the time especially if you set that setting that I talked about earlier to 100% save loads of sims that's my tip. Um, who else do we like? I mean this girl's pretty cute so we'll save her to my library. I like to uh, also look up people's sims who might have storylines or skills or might be pregnant so when they come into your game they're gonna have a baby it's really cute so you can go ahead and do that the other hashtags i might use are um no cc family so again these are families it will pull in that don't have any custom content so i've managed to bookmark a hell of a lot of good sims for this purpose so that's the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did do leave a big thumbs up if you've got any other questions ask down below and i'll endeavor to answer you and if you have any other questions about mc command center any other tutorials you want me to do please let me know i'm more than well more than happy to do another tutorial video please do subscribe if you enjoyed this video and found it useful and i'll see you in the next one bye guys Thank you.